Look at that, guys. Downtown is so pretty. Oh, there we go. There we go. Woo! All right, what's up, guys? So I am here with two new friends. This is the controller that I bought. Zach has a big head because he beat me once. Once? <laughs> One time? <laughs> Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to another video. I hope all you guys are doing well. If y'all have watched my most recent vlog, it's titled First Vlog of 2023. In that video, I said that I was interested in learning how to DJ. DJing is kind of always something I've had like in the back of my mind, especially because like, you know, I make music. Uh, and if I was to ever perform shows or do shows, I always had in mind that I would perform them DJing just because I can't really sing. I can play piano, I can play guitar, but I'm not much of a singer. Maybe that'll change in the future, um, but we'll see. I actually ordered a DJ controller to go ahead and start learning how to DJ so that I can just get familiar with it. And as I start like putting out more music, I can start potentially doing online DJ shows for you guys. I have it over there in the corner right now. I'm gonna go get it for you guys really quick. Ugh. Okay, so this is the controller that I bought. It's called the uh, DDJ FLX4. Apparently it's like a affordable beginner DJ controller. It comes with like all the basic stuff you need. It comes with like record box, which is like software you need to learn how to DJ. Pretty affordable controller, only like 300 bucks. I'm actually going to um, bring you guys along for the unboxing. Got some cables. Uh, I believe a Cerato DJ thing. Cool. It actually looks really nice. Okay, so as I was like just fooling around with the record box software, this like little window thing popped up that was like, click here for a quick tutorial. And I was like, oh, how convenient. And so I was just like scrolling through it and I was actually able to like load a song in this thing. I just like pulled in the song files from my previous vlog. I had like a sky full of stars in there. Check this out. Anyways. <laughs> so I actually found some demo tracks in Rekordbox to just go ahead and like load and use for this video just because I didn't want to get copyrighted with A Sky Full of Stars and Bad Habits. All right, so I think that's enough DJing for today. That was pretty cool. I definitely surpassed my expectations for learning what buttons do and like how to make things happen on this controller. <laughs> Not only was I able to make a song come out of this, I was able to make two songs come out of it and I was able to figure out what these buttons over here do and play around with this thing. That's really cool. Okay, so if you guys have been following along with this channel, 
I released my first single about two to three months ago. I released it, I made a music video for it. The release went really well, but we didn't quite get the traction we wanted to get on TikTok with it. Uh, but that's okay. Every music artist goes through a period like this where they put out a song and it doesn't quite just get traction or the traction you want it to get. I'm still really happy with the song. It turned out really well. I'm still really proud of the release. Since the release of that song, I made three other demos. They'd just been kind of sitting on my hard drive. Like I didn't know when they would go out. I didn't know who would be another singer on the song. You know, I got busy filming the video and, and editing the, the music video. And so after that release, I then went back into making YouTube videos. I got back into YouTube again and it's been a lot of fun. Hence why I'm making this video. Like I, I do enjoy making these videos. Just this past week, I just felt like another one of those things in here where it was like, make another song. You know, I've been like praying about it, been thinking about it. It's funny, like all week long, I feel like I've been getting confirmation from God to go ahead and just like make this song. It, it's strange, I don't know. God talks to everybody in different ways, but when you understand the ways he talks to you, you just know that he's like, yes, do this. So this past week, I kind of just have been listening back to my old demos, like the three demos that I made after the, the release of Waiting For You. I do have one that I really do like. It's not finished, but the idea is definitely there. If you guys have watched my previous videos on like, you know, music tutorials or like cookup sessions, you will actually recognize this beat or this song idea uh, from those videos. This is the song that I'm thinking like, okay, this song needs to be finished. As far as a singer goes, either a friend will sing on it for me or I will hire somebody from like a, a music website that can sing like Sound Better or I don't know, any, any singer that I can find. Or if any of you guys uh, who can sing and are interested in singing on a song, feel free to reach out to me. Comment that down below in the YouTube comments or DM me on Instagram if you're interested. This is still a work in progress, but I did wanna go ahead and like play it for you guys really quick. There's no lyrics to it or anything, but I do like the initial idea of this beat or instrumental or song or whatever you wanna call it. Yeah, I just kind of wanted to like share that with you guys. Super cool, exciting stuff. Uh, I'm excited to finish this song in the next couple of weeks slash probably months, probably months. All right guys, so the sun is about to set and uh, currently I'm at the bike trail in Austin. I'm about to go for a run. Um, I'm here a little bit later than I originally planned. We'll just roll with it. Alright guys, so 
I just got back home from the run uh, for dinner. We got a uh, Longhorn Steakhouse. So yeah, we got some good food, got some chicken, uh, sweet potato, I don't know if you can see that, chicken, sweet potato, uh, and then some broccoli, wherever. Oh yeah, broccoli and complimentary bread. Gonna be eating pretty well tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and just dig into this. Do you want to tell uh, the YouTubes about our ongoing battle? Yes. Zach has a big head because he beat me once in Mario Kart. Once? <laughs> One time? I feel like it's like, my right thumb is supposed to go on this, my left thumb. This is kind of the tip that we play. I will say, I think my bumpers are turned on right now. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, what's up guys? So I am here with two new friends. This is Heather and this is Jacob. She uh, DM'd me for like a YouTube collab and uh, here we are like a week later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, small world now. Yeah. Small, actually small world because oh, yeah. We just Tell found out we graduated the same year, yep. the same school. Yeah, so. we went to UT, which is actually literally right behind <laughs> us. Right behind us. And uh, yeah, we're like the same age. We went to the same school and graduated the same year, same. which is crazy. Yeah. And we never crossed paths, we or never we never met each other. Until yeah. now. So, I'm sure you crossed paths. I guess realize. we did. Yeah, 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 we must have, right? Yeah. 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 So we actually just filmed a video for their channel. Uh, we filmed a video where we just like drive, drove around in their car and like ordered some food, like fast food. And we just like chatted in the car, had some interesting conversations had a weird encounter at Zilker Park, which is really funny. <laughs> and that will be up on their channel. Go check that out. I'll be linking that down in the description. But for this video on my channel, I just thought we could do a fun, chill Q&A. Because they're going to be really hard questions, guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's y'all's favorite thing about Austin? There's so many. There's so many. Okay. <laughs> Austin sunsets. Austin sunsets. I would say that. Like, Texas sunsets are great in general. Like, I lived in El Paso, I've also lived in South Texas. Oh, so you've been like... Yeah, I all over time. I mean, I really like Austin sunsets. I would say the people, the food, and just the layout of the city. I love how like the university is right there and then the city is like right there. It's just like, it's such a cool layout. It's a very small city compared to other cities too. So it's not hard to like... You don't you don't get lost here like it's so easy it's like first second third fourth fifth street so yeah. it's like north south new east, york west. is like 147th street and it's <laughs> yeah. like oh, where am i <laughs> it's so confusing yeah. it's a maze there yeah. next question so okay because i'm also a music channel i have to ask mm -hmm. do y'all play any instruments we already had kind yeah. of a conversation we did, about this but i'll go ahead and fill <laughs> okay. you guys yeah in. fill them in uh yeah so i play the flute um, I played the flute since middle school. I also was in the UT band uh, my first year too, so I also played piccolo technically. Uh, there aren't any flutes in the UT band, there's only piccolos uh, because they're way louder. And so, yeah, imagine like 30 piccolos, it's like really, really loud in the piccolo section. Could the you play stuff. the Titanic on it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Titanic. Yeah. I'll have that's to cool. play for you guys sometime. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can play on piano. On we piano. could do a cool oh, yeah. cover. Oh, yeah. Ooh. We should do it. Yeah. So for me, in middle school, I did play the baritone uh, or the euphonium if, you, if you're in college. Now, as an adult, I've kind of been playing the bass guitar as like a hobby. So I play bass guitar, I guess. Yeah. Right now. 
I wouldn't say it's a hobby. You're really good at it. Like, I mean, not just a hobby. I'm not really good. It's, it's literally a hobby. Like, I don't, I play like once a week. <laughs> so. I think you're really good at it. From what yeah. What's y'all's favorite game to play? Because if y'all didn't know, they were actually Twitch streamers yeah. playing games. Yeah. And that's actually how they met. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. like, And then like years later, they started dating. So. Yeah. 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 Um, that's why I picked this question because I was like, it should be fitting. <laughs> Man, yeah. I have so many. I've been playing games since I was like, since I can remember, like type stuff. So of all time, it has to be Halo Three. I've had so many oh, good yeah. memories on the game, like playing with friends and back in the days how custom game was and party chat. It's Halo like, Three was great. It's yeah. not the same anymore yeah. how it is, but those that era like yeah. 2008, 2007, Halo. Yeah. Golden. Golden. For me, it was Halo Reach. Halo like, Reach. Oh, Halo Halo Reach. Yeah. I loved Halo Reach too. Yeah. yeah. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Yeah. On the GameCube specifically. Yeah. That's another I top one. Played those levels left and right, up, down, trying to get an ace on all of those levels, and I can still play them today. Like me and my sister bond over that game. Like we still play it all the yeah. time too. But I'd say that one's my favorite Do you have a little chow? Yes, all the yeah. chow. Oh my gosh, I the chow I would try garden. hard on the chow. <laughs> you try to get like the sonic chow, yeah. and, like the shadow chow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that chow. Chaos chow. Did you? Chaos I had a chaos chow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> That's <fun>. cool. <laughs> Notable mentions, Minecraft. Oh yeah. It's like, Notable it's a staple. Mentions. Notable mention, today. Animal Crossing, because I was big Animal during Crossing. COVID, and that one was just such a fun game to play. Cute Smash game. Bros. Yeah. Oh, Smash Bros. Yeah. Dude. But who is your favorite Smash Pikachu. character? Pikachu. Pikachu, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mine is Toon Link. Toon Link is Toon Link. Oh, okay. He's great. Toon Link's great. Yeah, he's a yeah. staple. He's great. Well, that wraps up the Q&A for this video. Like I said, this is Heather and Jacob. Go check out their channel. I'll be linking it in the description below. Yeah. Also, probably some pop-ups around here. Alright, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.